I stopped jerking off and doing the celibacy thing, my sex drive and my energy and confidence has been, well not my energy so much, my sex drive and my confidence has just been going through the roof, like oh my gosh, damn, you know what, I have to make a, a follow up video to really explain in depth about how things have been changing for me it's, it's 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 interesting it really is interesting but yeah i gotta charge the camera i forgot to charge it it's about to die so yeah i'm gonna go brush my teeth eat breakfast and do all that stuff and upload bodybuilding with calisthenics episode 13 because that took literally like four hours oh my it took all day to freaking edit and save and stuff it was a long video but f it don't care okay so the camera is finally charged Right now I got some nuggets in the oven, so I'm going to be having, I had egg this morning with bread, so that's around like 400 calories, because I didn't have three eggs, so 400 calories. Then I had, I'm going to have nuggets, and then I'm going to have a protein shake before I go to work, then I'm going to have some rice, I'm going to have some rice and beef when I get to work, when I get to work, and then I'm going to be having, I think when I come home I'm going to have another protein shake. Just to get the calories in. I think, I didn't really drop weight, but now I'm fluctuating between 150 and 151. So I'm happy that I am not dropping back into the 140s. That's one good thing I'm, I'm happy with, right? So I guess it's a lot of water weight that's fluctuating. But anyway, I feel like things are being consistent. The workouts are feeling good. And I'm just happy to be back on track. Right? I'm happy to be back on track. I really want my gains to be coming in though, like for my arms. But yeah, guys, that's how things are going today. Not much going on today, to be honest. I'm sorry. So I got me eight nuggets right here. And I can't remember how many calories this is, but I think it's about 500. And plus ketchup, so probably over 500. Okay, so I'm finally on my way home. As y'all can see, the McDonald's sign. Ah! <laughs> I'm joking. But yeah, I'm on my way home. And jeez. Today was a freaking crazy day. It was hectic. It was actually calm at first. And every, I don't know where all these people are coming from to order McDonald's. I'm like, yo, chill. We literally, like, I swear we sent out, I know, no race jokes. I know someone's going to be dropping some race jokes. Like, oh, it's nighttime. Where's Simon? I can only see his teeth. But yeah, uh, basically, uh, people came and ordered like 30 freaking junior chickens in like 10 minutes. I'm like, yo. It was going so, so crazy, but it was all in the day's work. Is that the her? all in the day's work? Yeah, but going home, enjoyed it. It was fun to talk to the co-workers. And for those of you guys who were like, yo, what do you mean McDonald's is this? McDonald's is actually not so bad. I'm, I was just saying it's not as bad as I thought. McDonald's is it? Oh, shit, thunder. Okay, you know what? It's, so I don't get electrocuted. I'll probably put the, the camera away just now. Okay, so good morning, SOS family. I don't have work today. And for the first time, I actually woke up pretty early. Okay, it was 9.18. I woke up like around 9 o'clock, so I'm happy that I actually woke up before 10. And it's going to rain later on today, so I'm going to try to get my workout in. I'm going to get my workout in. And I'm just going to just enjoy it, man. I'm just gonna enjoy being able to work out a lot earlier because man, like, there's something about working out early. Like, you guys, you guys ever wake up early in the morning? The earlier you wake up, let's say around six o'clock when the sun is just rising, and the the air just feels so euphoric. I don't know, how, I don't know how to explain it. Like, have you guys ever went for morning jogs? Like, oh my gosh. Well, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna go for a morning jog. It's just the grass smells like it's fresher in the morning, the air, everything. Uh, let me get the workout in after I eat breakfast and blah, blah, blah. I forgot I had bananas. I just came back from downstairs and my bro is sleeping, so whatever. I'm going to actually have two bananas for my pre-workout slash breakfast. I don't care. I don't want to label my meals. I'm just going to have this as my pre-workout, okay? It's going to digest. It's not going to be too filling on my in my stomach. And I'm going to be drinking some water, like a, a full bottle of water, to give me some energy for the workout. And then I'll start coming back and eating all of my other food. So you see, guys, I do eat healthy. I don't just eat McDonald's, guys. Oh, my gosh. It feels absolutely wonderful outside. The smell I was talking about is out here. I smell it. I smell the fresh air. Oh, my gosh. It feels so good. 
Okay, it's time to get the workout in. Uh, I'm going to be focusing a lot more on back today since I focused a lot more on my delts and chest the other day, but I'm still going to train both. So yeah, y'all going to see a different exercise. Y'all seen it in my previous videos before, if you've been around long enough. But yeah, uh, I'm going to do some lat swings, which is what I like to call them, right? So yeah, let me just get into the workout. So that was an absolutely beautiful workout again. I am starting to feel a lot more pumped and the discipline, I feel like it's coming back. The discipline is finally coming back with the workout. Waking up early made the workout feel a lot more desirable because when I wake up later, as the day goes on, my productivity or my, my drive to do anything always goes down. So by the time it's nighttime, I don't want to do anything. But in the morning when the, the, the air is fresh and everything is just nice and, and refreshing, I feel a lot more uh, motivated to get the workout in. But of course, I can't rely on motivation all the time. I gotta stay disciplined. So today, I only did the back. I only did back and biceps. And I said I was going to do push also, but no, not today. But tomorrow, I'm going to do full upper body, but I'm not gonna record it. Or I'll probably record a little bit. The next Bible with Cow Stanks episode though, I'm gonna train legs because I really do need to start training legs. I gotta stop being a little bitch and start training my legs because yeah I don't really care my legs to me I'm okay with my legs okay I'm totally gonna be honest with you guys I am okay with my legs the only thing I care for legs the only thing I care about when it comes to legs is strength and that's what I'm going to go in when it comes to powerlifting and calisthenics my squats deadlifts I care about strength I don't really care about any more size in my legs unless it's unproportional or disproportional to my upper body that's it that's the only reason why I care for legs, just for strength, doing pistol squats, probably being able to jump high, doing heavy squats, deadlifting, that's it. So I'm not going to be training legs nearly as much as my upper body for size, but I'm going to be training legs probably a bit more when it comes to powerlifting and calisthenics. As a matter of fact, when I start training at the gym, you guys comment down below, like talk to me. You guys comment down below. My deal is with powerlifting and calisthenics, my goal is to, to increase my lifts, right? But I'm planning on incorporating some bodybuilding routines at the end of each powerlifting workout. So for example, on a squat day, I'll do squats. Uh, and there was another exercise I used to do. I think it's just squats. Oh, I added front squats and back squats. After that, I'll go on to doing like some upper body exercises or some or even some lower body exercises to build size right so let's say let's say let's give it a workout let's do like a quick little workout i go in i do my five by five for squats and then oh i hear the freaking plane coming and then i go and i do uh i do leg pressing calf raises not in any particular order i'm just giving some examples leg leg raises shit doing some calf raises doing leg pressing doing a quad uh knee extensions, knee, uh, leg curls, all of that. I'm my, Right now my mind is like all over the place because I just got a workout in. But you guys get my point, I wanna do powerlifting. It's gonna be powerlifting and calisthenics, guys. That's the goal of the series, powerlifting, increasing my lifts. But I wanna incorporate some bodybuilding aspects into it as well as calisthenics. So you guys comment down below and tell me what you think. And by the way, I was reading some of the comments on the previous episode, okay? And only one, it was only one guy, but I had to, I don't know how many more of you guys are feeling this way, but this, this guy said, yo, Simon, like, wh why do you, why do you stop replying to your, your subscribers? I lost respect for you, bro. I'm just like, you guys are watching these videos, you guys are watching my life, and you guys see how more, how much busier it's been getting since I got the job and everything. And as soon as I didn't reply to you guys for about, like, what, one or two videos, not all of you guys, like, I replied to some of you guys, but because I didn't reply to some of you guys for like one or two videos, yeah, one person is like, oh, I can't believe you're not replying to your subscribers anymore. I'm, I'm losing respect for you. And remember, I, I called this out, I called this out like months ago when I was going to, when I was working at the gym. I was like, I bet there's going to be a time where you guys are going to push me to go get a job and change my life and make things happen for me. And as soon as the grind really starts, I start pumping out videos and I'm just busy and I can't reply to you guys as much. Someone's gonna be like, oh, now you don't reply to us. You don't have time for us. Oh, you're you're a fake or whatever. And I don't know if you're just trolling, but I just wanna put it out there. It's like, I'm trying my best to balance everything in my life. I'm seeing my son, providing for him, working, putting out these videos, replying to you guys. You know, like trying to get my name out there so much. And it's like, I don't want you guys thinking I'm trying to be fake, but remember there's 
over 8,000 of you guys. Obviously not all 8,000 watch, but a lot of you guys do watch and comment. And it's like, I do, it takes so much time to reply to all of you guys. If I just continue replying to all of you guys at once, then I'm not gonna have time to upload these videos, right? I know you guys, I know some of you guys are saying like, yo, this, these videos are way too long, but sometimes I can't even control it, right? Right now, this clip right here is running for five minutes. And like, I can't really control it. I'm just talking to you guys so I can make sure, you know, I'm, I'm connecting. Because if I don't talk this long, then you guys are gonna be like, so what's happening? You guys are gonna be confused on what's happening in my life, or what's happening with the channel. I'm just trying to keep things balanced so it's not so easy for me, guys. Like, it's not easy. I'm just trying to grind and make things work and inspire you guys to do the same. I can't cater to every single one of you. It's impossible. It's absolutely impossible to cater to every single person. Some people like the longer vids. Some people don't like the longer vids. So you, what I did in the previous episode, in the previous episode, I put the time for when the workout starts because some of you guys don't even care about the vlog portion like at the beginning of the video. So I put the timestamp. I'm like, guys, skip to this part if you wanna go straight to the next day, the training day, or go to the workout. And some of you guys are still saying I like the long videos, but I'm like, you don't have to watch the whole video. Like, you guys don't have to watch the vlog. I'd rather put all the clips that I recorded in the video so at least you have the option to, instead of me just taking it out and not seeing some of the things that could be going on in my life. So I'm just trying to, like, even though I've been on YouTube for over a year, I'm still learning this. Like, I'm still, you know, trying to get the hang of this. I've never been in a position where thousands of people are actually, thousands of people know me. Like, I'm actually becoming somebody on the internet. And not to say that in any arrogant way, but I'm just saying it's like, it's not arrogant at all. Like, I'm becoming more known and it's something that you have to adjust to. Like it's not, it's not normal for me. I lived my entire life not even getting any, rec getting that much recognition from anybody or, you know, not being popular, I guess, in school and stuff. So when I come on YouTube, it's like, it's, it's totally different. You guys look at me in a different light, like, yo, that strength oversized. Man, I can't wait to see you succeed. Like, you're getting so many more subscribers. We support you. Yo, you're like my friend, bro. Like, I love hearing your story. You inspire me. And it's it's uh, it's not a burden, but it's, press it's pressure. It's pressure to keep me on my toes. Because if you guys weren't around, I would be slacking off so much. Everything before this, I quit on. Every single thing before this, my music, track, football, everything I did in my life before this, I quit. University, college, I quit everything. And this is like the this is like the final step for me. If I don't have YouTube, I don't know what the hell I have. And without you guys, you guys keep me going. So I'm trying to make sure I reach my goals while catering, while while trying to please you guys as much as possible. But I just want you guys to know that like Yo, I'm trying, man. I'm new to this. A lot of you guys are going to chase this, but it's like, yo, you got to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. I'm telling you, just because I, I, t I tell you all the time, just because I have all these subs and whatnot, which isn't really a lot when you look at other YouTubers, I, the pressure gets so much, like I feel overwhelmed sometimes. And that's those are some of the times where I just don't even reply to anybody because I'm like, I don't want to reply to you guys if I'm not in the right mood. I'd rather reply to you guys when I'm actually in a good mood and I'm willing to want and I'm willing to talk to some of you guys, right? So I don't want to take you guys for granted and be like, thank you, thank you, cool, yes, thanks for the tip, yeah, cool, and just reply to you guys just to say, just to say I replied to my subscribers. Like, but no, forget that. I have discussions with you guys. I engage in discussions with you guys. I share things things about my life that I don't really have to but I like doing it because it inspires some of you guys my no fat video is just reaching 2,000 views so it's not really one of my popular videos but it helps some of you guys some of you guys are on different journeys besides fitness and I can't just cater to you fitness heads like all about fitness 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 where's bodybuilding where's bodybuilding when's powerlifting when are you going to the gym you're so small I want to see some muscle where's the gains blah 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 it's like yo some of us have life outside of fitness like me Right, and I want to care to some of you guys also, so I just want to put it out there. The video's getting way too long. I'm just trying to be real with you guys, man. And I feel like the moment I decide to say, you know what, fine, guys, F it. Forget my life. Let me just do fitness. Let me just pump out fitness videos for you guys. Let me just go to the gym and work out and so I can just get some views. Then I'm gonna be start then people are gonna start calling me fake. You're a phony. You used to share your life with us. You used to share your experience with us. And now you're fake. You just wanna do it for views. It's like you can't do anything. So you know what? I F the views. F the views, F it, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna put out the videos I want, whether they get views or not, just because i rather people end up hating me while I'm being real than calling me fake when I know I'm being fake, straight up. 
straight up. I'm just going to put out videos. If I want to talk about celibacy and all that stuff and help other people, besides just gaining weight and freaking eating a bunch of damn food so you can be in a caloric surplus and then work out, oh, yeah, to make sure you hit this intensity so you can build your muscle. So, I'm, oh, it's like, I love fitness, but sometimes it just becomes like a freaking just dread. It's like, it's, it's, it's dreading. <sighs> Sorry for that event. Sorry for that uh, turn up, but... Dang, it's just so much sometimes. I just want you guys to realize, like, I'm human. I'm human, and I'm ex I'm going through changes. Like, this is a... I'm, I'm 20 now. I'm, I'm entering into my 20s. So this is a big change in my life, and you guys are watching it. A lot of you guys are, like, my age. So I just want you guys to know, like, just f stick with me. And just open up your mind. Just open up your mind. I'm going to try to... I'm pumping out fitness videos as much as I can, but just, like, yo... Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Okay, so, yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leg day will be the next episode, but I'm going to work out tomorrow, just not record it. And, yeah, I'm just going to work out tomorrow, not record it, just so I can enjoy it. Like, just so I can enjoy the workout instead of carrying this damn camera around all the time. I wish I had someone to record. And I did. I do have somebody, actually. He's probably watching, but it's just not working out right now, but I'll get back to him. But other than that, yeah, stay tuned, and I'll talk to y'all next time. Done. You guys see me partake on for my own journey? That is me training myself, not you guys. So what you guys see me do in Bible Account Sex is not me telling you.